Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm gonna to be working on these Seca Hinoki. And uh, this is not a variety I've had for very long, so I'm gonna try a couple different things. These guys, um, it's a dwarf Hinoki cypress variety, and uh, apparently it's all the rage in, in Japan, especially for creating shohin material. And um, what you can see here is that they're very apically dominant. So these cuttings have been in these containers for the better part of a year, and uh, all the growth from about here upward happened after the cuttings were taken. Um, so they have a beautiful color and texture, uh, and, but you can see that all of the growth down here is relatively weak and all of the growth up here is relatively strong. So there seems like in this kind of a situation, there's a couple different options. And, um, the one I'm going to try is maybe not the obvious one, which is to just cut it off, uh, but I want to create some taper. And so if you look at old articles in like International Bonsai or other uh, published sources, uh, Kinbone Magazine, if you can read Japanese, you'll find that the way that you make uh, formal uprights that have some taper is basically to create a straight trunk like this. And then you add some wire as I am doing right now. And with the wire, you create a bend now you might be saying to yourself, well, if it's a formal upright, then it doesn't need any bends. You actually want to use the wire to make it straight. And you're right. Uh, I'm going to use this wire to make the lower trunk straight. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this over. Uh, I'm going to take the strong part here. I'm actually going to kind of twist it a little bit. And now I've bent that over at about a 90 degree angle. What I expect to happen, not 100% sure, but what I expect to happen is that these tips down here are all gonna get a lot stronger because this tip is no longer shading them out. And um, this growth will most likely continue to, to grow pretty strongly. It'll continue to fatten this part of the trunk, but it won't, will no longer be shading uh, this lower section. And so I should get some bushier, more interesting growth right here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do that to a few others, but I uh, just wanted to share that. If you're making formal uprights, think about uh, just bending over a portion like that, and that'll allow you to start to create that taper that we want in the trunk of a formal upright. Good luck, everyone.